I have created a GitHub repo at the URL below that you can use to pull a copy of the project files used in this course. If you have a GitHub account, feel free to fork the repo to be able to work on your own version of it if you like. If you don't want to worry about running the project locally, you can hop into our practice environment and follow along. All of the same files for the project can be found in the practice environment, and there is no need to run any setup or even a code editor on your local machine. Everything is taken care of for you, and you can even work alongside the videos and your file changes will be reflected in the preview window as you make them. If you do want to run the project locally, you will need a few things installed, beginning with Git. You can find Git on the official site at the URL below. If you have not used Git before, I would recommend checking out the course Up and Running with Git and GitHub by Ray Villalobos at the link below. The project code requires Node and NPM to be installed locally. You can visit the official Node.js site at the link below for details on downloading and installation. If you are unfamiliar with NPM and how it works, I recommend you check out the course Up and Running with NPM, the Node Package Manager, with Ray Villalobos as well. The project code also requires Gulp to be installed locally as that will be used to execute the build process and launch the application you can visit the official Gulp site at the link below to get that installed. The project code has a readme file that contains a simple walkthrough for setting up your environment and the commands to run to work on the code, including all of the stuff that I just covered. The project code from the GitHub repository has a branch for each video, so only one npm install call is needed to get the node modules installed. And from there, you can simply check out branches to follow along with the project files for each video. Now, if you're viewing this course on a mobile device or a set-top device, that's okay. You can still follow along by watching how I use the files. Finally, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code during this course, but there is nothing specific to that editor in the material I will cover, and you can feel free to use whatever editor you like.